Hey, chess fans, this is Thug Doug. Gonna play some five minute blitz. Thank you for joining me today. It's a Thursday for me, and it's been raining quite a bit lately. Uh, so I'm a little wet right now. I've been without a car, so all my errands are getting me out, getting me out in the walk, on the bus, stuff like that. Okay, let's go this route. Right off that bishop. Some pressure on the center. Castle just develop normal. B5. Okay, now I'm ready for E5 with castles. But what I'll do is I'll take here first, then E5. So it's got to bleep, otherwise, yeah, you've got to take it. Right? Okay, this is a pretty comfortable position for me. I'm long term, I've got some, got a little play here, like, you know, threatening knight in, and if I can get rid of that. Uh, see, now, how does he? Okay, right, so I can't do that right now because. No, they won't take that one. The queen's protecting it. So can't move the knight, otherwise it's checkmate. Or he can move the knight. You can do it that way. Okay, so we're going to push the knight back. Okay. We did get rid of the knight. Oh, okay. What do I want to do? Well, let's just, um, let's not do too much here. Let's just uh, check this pawn. In long term, this is a little uncomfortable, I would think. This queen is always stuck babysitting the knight. Yeah, that's more babysitting. I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep pressure on on uh, the position. So my plan is, hmm, I'd like to play rook up and over and then checkmate. Can I get away with that? Rook up, can do the protect, let me think about this. The other possibility is I just take twice on, uh, Take twice and then play the whole rook maneuver. It'll be a lot harder to defend, I think, if with this queen embedded on the square. So yeah, you can have a pawn. You have a couple of pawns, but up and over, and that looks really nasty. Unless I'm missing something. Bam. Made on, made on this square. How does he stop it? Don't see how he stops it. Maybe queen to c7 here, threaten, uh, threaten this rook. I'm just going to move the rook though. Yeah. How does one stop that? He'll never be able to get his, his king just entombed. Okay, yeah, c7, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I could even just allow him a check if I go here, allow a check. And that way, it kind of force it kind of mechanically blocks all the all the important squares that the queen could possibly even get back on. Is 
This is real nasty. I don't see any defense. I don't see any defense. I mean, doesn't even have a queen sock or anything. He's got a spike check, and that's about it. I guess. Um, Hmm. No. Okay. So he doesn't even have a way into like this square. So I go for that one. Well, the squares are covered. And when I play here, even the queen there, yeah, so that's what check. I guess, yeah, he can delay it a little bit, but still it's made. Yeah. Cool. That was, that was fun and easy. <laughs> um, yeah, I think at the, at the point where we got into this spot where um, uh, the trades happened, yeah, right here. Since position's even, even. Yeah, the trick is not to bring the knight in. As soon as, as, soon as the knight comes in, blacks, blacks a little, got a little bit more here. Yeah, a little bit, just a little bit better. Still not the end of the world. Oh, that's interesting. Now here it says um, bishop instead. What, why is knight? Knight scores better according to the database. So still, games here. Huh. Only really five. This is a little better for light. Interesting. Yeah, I, I thought I could just play bishop f5 and then bishop e uh, bishop f5 and bishop e4 and then threatening to take that. So I don't get why that doesn't why that doesn't work here. Uh, what am I missing? Must be missing something. Oh, okay. Now he goes there. I see. Because as soon as the bishop's not protecting the knight, okay, I, I'm, that makes sense. So really, bishop here is better. Huh. Slightly better. I mean, it's nothing, uh, nothing major. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.